Okay, what I want to do is work on basic drawing with shapes. Get the idea of a stroke, a fill, how fills merge, uh, the sizes of a shape, changing the sizes, and some of the basic tools for doing that. And we'll draw a little happy face uh, using some basic shapes to get an idea for how that works and get us comfortable with flash. So let's start off with a brand new document. And I'll save it. Name here can be anything you like. Because this is our stage areas where items will go that we put on it, like and in our case we're gonna use some drawing objects that are in flash. And they go on layers and on what we call keyframes. In this case we have not much choice. There's only one keyframe and one layer, so these are where the items go. We'll learn more about the timeline in another segment. Over here is the properties for the item we have selected. So right now we have the, the actual document selected, document properties. And we want to focus on some drawing objects. So Flash will draw for you with vector drawing. The vectors basically are drawn by the player, the Flash player, when they're downloaded to the user's machine. So they're actually drawn by Flash. And they're resizable. They're very lightweight, unlike bitmaps, which uh, require the pixels for each coordinate to be sent down. So we're going to learn a little bit about the different tools. One of them that we'll work with is the shape tools, which are the rectangle tool, and we, and you can see it here. And then there's another one called the oval tool. We have some varieties of those, and we could spend a lot of time. But we want to do the basics. And when you select these tools, you get properties for them that you can work with. Now the key thing to understand that's confused people quite a bit when they get started with Flash is that with the shape tools there's two modes. It's actually one mode on and off. It's called object drawing mode. So at the bottom of this bar you can actually see some of the dividers. We have modifiers that will change depending on the tool you have in hand. So if I go to the line tool and they seem we seem to have the same modifiers. If I go to the fill tool same modifiers. If I go to the pen tool, pencil tool, we get a different modifier. So most of them, many of them have the object drawing. So that's either on or off. And so right now it's off, and then when it's depressed, it's on. So we want to work with it off because that's what we want to learn. We want to learn about drawing in with some native uh, vectors and shapes and fills. So I'm going to pick the oval tool. So we can make kind of a face. And so with the oval tool, we draw both a stroke and a fill at the same time. It might not seem so obvious. It seems oh, it should work that way. And we'll see why not. And we're going to change the stroke uh, to 12. So the stroke is actually the line on the outside edge. And the color we'll pick is this green that's already selected. So over on my stage, I'm going to do this somewhere up in the top left corner. It doesn't really matter. We'll move it up there eventually. And I'll hold the shift key down. When you do the shift key down, you get a perf you get a constrained mode, which in this case gives us a perfect circle. I'll do this again with the shift key not depressed, and you can see you can get different types of ovals shapes. I'm going to undo the last two. And this is my first one here. Now I'm going to select it. And what I'll do first is zoom in on the stage. And then I can get the hand tool, which is over here on the toolbar, anytime by holding this space bar down. And let's drag the stage down here so we can see it. And I'll go back to the selection tool. And you'll see we can select the fill and the stroke separately. If I select the fill and drag it, you can see that it's separating from the stroke and actually you can see maybe the after effect or the after image of where it used to be you can see it's somewhat covered by the stroke and somewhat not covered by the stroke and use undo to put that back do the same thing with the stroke, I'll click once on it and drag that again, look at the after image, you can see how the strokes work they partly cover the fill and partly are outside the fill area for shapes and we can draw on these separately, but the shape tool allows us to draw them together and save us the hard work of getting a, a perfect circle. We also have drawn without the fill or drawn without the, the stroke. That's another alternative. I want to undo that and put them back together. 
and I'm going to select um, the oval tool and just show you that if I wanted to draw a fill with a, a oval without a f stroke I would select the stroke color and up here in the top right corner you just turn it off with this icon here which says no color All right, so we don't really want to do that right at this moment we want to work with just this one so back uh, and I hit escape and I'm just going to select the selection tool uh, we have uh, various ways of selecting items on stage with the uh, shapes that are drawn in some what we call merge mode. Some people call it merge mode, but with the the object mode off, we can use the selection tool and actually select any part of a shape and move it, change its size, adjust it, change the properties that apply to that part. So this will be for those you want to expand on your drawing skills, how you mix and match these features to draw uh, good items inside of uh, Flash using its vector uh, drawing tools. They're, they're fairly uh, robust. They're not as powerful as other tools such as Illustrator, but they give you quite a bit of mileage for basic items that you'll need.